I want to ask our audience how much they're swayed by footprints. I know that people that some people that are more into Bigfoot that study it more and are more into the science, and perhaps some of those that have read Jeff Marie Meldrum's book, Sasquatch to Me Science, are more swayed by footprints. But how much? How many people really give that a lot of uh, credence? For example, I, I didn't. I have always seen these photographs of people holding up these. You know, plaster casts, and it, to me it always just looked ridiculous, because the footprints never looked like anything, like a, well they don't look like human footprints, because they're not supposed to, but even so, they look like they're just amateurish, you know, non-artistic uh, um, representations of what they think a foot would look like, and it's just like, oh come on, another, you know, you always see these guys that are older, you know, holding up, you know, proudly these giant feet, and it'd be like, oh, please, give me a break, this is just nonsense, will you cut it out already? Then I read Jeffrey Meldrum's book, I, and I know where he's coming from, you see his dermal ridges, equivalent of the fingerprints, uh, except with your toes, and the, you know, ridges on your feet, and I mean, some of those, I think, were collected by Grover Krantz, and some of them that ended up being, uh, that they said they thought were real, ended up being fraudulent, and I know that it's kind of like working, to me it's all like working around, you know, what you're actually looking for. You're actually looking for a live specimen or really clear photographs. But it's like, some people just want to, look, we got X, you know, we Y, Z, and B, and, but everything around what you really, you know, want to have. And, you know, you can't base it on, okay, we got, look, we got a, a footprint here and a, and a, a you know, a, a butt print from a cast of the, with the, the, um, Skookum cast, and I mean, it doesn't really do anything to advance the uh, the case for Bigfoot. It's just, I mean, some people might say, though, that looks like it could be, and they're speculating that looks like an Achilles tendon, and that looks like a knuckle print, and I don't know, that might kind of look like a, you know, hair. It's, it's kind of like reading, you see a stucco wall or something, and you can see images in it, or you look at clouds, and you can, there, it seems like they're kind of, um, you know, trying to make something out of nothing. It, it doesn't seem that much farther from what the uh, what um, Justin Smeja, Smeja or whatever, um, and the other guy said on that ten foot ten million dollar bounty Bigfoot thing, where they said, "Oh, look, we they just happened to see a bunch of disturbance in the ground. Look, it was knuckle walking. And then it was you know because it was about to attack something. It just seems to be all you know conjured." I think what you're really looking for is either to capture the real thing or really clear photographs that are undeniable or, you know, even DNA. But what do you test the DNA against? You can just rule out, well, that's, you know, that's a bear or that's actually a human or we don't know what that is. But that might be only because you haven't, don't have anything to test it against. But um, I don't know. These casts, for me, I'd like to know what people think about that. To me, it just seems like a bunch of... Uh, even after I know why they do it, and I, uh, I, I still think it, they're, they can be easily fooled by people, whether they think they can or not, and it can be faked. Even dermal ridges can be faked, and I've heard people say, well, they can't be faked, and then somebody tells them how they can, they go, well, but that is unlikely that they'd be faked. Well, yeah, but they can still be faked, and people, I could probably imagine some scientists could read, like, wood grain or something into, uh, you know... Saying it's 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 finger it's footprints or whatever it's dermal ridges, and they even said that there you know there's mid tarsal brace which means the foot like bends kind of in the midway point in in these casts and there's no way that that, that can't be a human humans don't have that but they're finding out that yes a certain proportion of humans do have that so I, I just don't put a whole lot of weight in this plaster casting it it kind of pains me pains me to see these photographs of people holding up the casts, and it pains me to see these shows, people taking the time to mix plaster and pour it into these ridiculous, you know, holes in the ground that they suppose are, you know, footprints. I mean, it just, it's, it's, uh, I can't even, it's, it's just absurd. Just get a photograph or a, uh, you know, or, or, or capture the thing, or put out cages or something. Have people put out cages? I mean, if there's a $10 million bounty, couldn't they afford a, uh, you know, a big cage they could trap something into? I mean, they're putting out, that's another thing, they're putting out these cages on a um, $10 million Bigfoot show to catch, you know, rodents or whatever they can, just as one of their tests. Why don't they do that for what they're actually trying to capture? 
you know, oh, because that would cost ten million dollars to build up a, you know, a, a, a ten foot tall cage. It doesn't cost that much money. They could build, a, you know, let's say it cost a million dollars. Which I'm just being ridiculous. Obviously, it doesn't cost a million dollars to build a ten foot by ten foot cage. But let's just say it does. Well, they could build ten cages and put them, you know, out in areas with food in them. But then they'd say, oh well, the, but they'd know they'd be too tricky. But there's so many things you could do if you really want to, if you know, you really want to trap something that they're just not doing. So, I don't know. I mean, the, the initial discussion of this was based on was discussing how ridiculous this, ridiculous it is. Some of these footprints they should have people holding up, and it just it's sad to me just watching, looking at people hold up Bigfoot footprints. But anyway, just capture it or get good photographs. And or or DNA was something that, but even even then with DNA you'd have to you'd actually have to capture one to be able to de- definitively say this is what you're looking for. This is the you know mapping of the genome that you have to match with your sample. But they don't have that now. So even the DNA, what you, at least you can say well, I don't know what this is, or I do know it's a bear or it's a pig or something. But but. Obviously, you want to capture something, or I mean, obviously, the, the most thing is you want to capture something. But even photographs are would be light years ahead.